This is my uh, DJI Phantom 2 with the H3 3D gimbal on it. Now the gimbal is absolutely fantastic except for um, the one real weakness which is this pathetic bloody ribbon tape arrangement here. I don't know if you can see on there but it's one's already ripped through and that was very gentle um, you know tug on the plug and, and it just tore that so you get one spare with it but only one and they don't appear to be uh, available yet on the internet for sale as a replacement but I just took a look at my old gimbal which is a H2 and it looks like you might actually be able to use this plug here um, and morph it back into the mounting plate of this and uh, do away with that ribbon tape and silly plug um, contraption altogether. So I'm uh, going to have a look at this. This is the old gimbal which actually died because of, once again, a ribbon tape giving up and it's not replaceable. So really disappointed with that weakness in the Zenmuse products. But um, anyway, going to give this a go and I'll um, make a couple of small clips on the way and we'll see what it works out like. That's the backing plate on the H3 3D. Uh, if you've noticed um, up here, it's got uh, the blank plate which is um, actually screwed in from the other side. And uh, then the, this looks like some kind of PC board here. And on the H2 3D uh, gimbal is the, of course, the plug that we know and love. Uh, and uh, pretty much the same printed circuitry board or whatever type of board that is. Uh, and there's a couple of, you, know, you can quite see down in there, there we go, those white plugs with ribbon tape. So uh, I think that um, that end bit might be trans, you know, swappable between the two gimbals. We're about to give that a go. Right. So this is actually going uh, really smoothly, strangely enough. I've taken the, the plates out of both of the uh, backboards and the plug there, the ribbon tape going down into the plug on the back of the gimbal board, um, where are we, it appears to be exactly the same, so uh, I think it should be quite an easy swap over actually and eliminate the problem that everybody has been having of um, these ribbon tapes. Um, uh, breaking, but uh, of course you'll need. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people with H3 3D gimbals have probably got the H3 or H2 3D that they upgraded from or broke. Um, so you know there might be a few of these lying around, pretty cheap if you uh, if you need to make the modification yourself. Yeah. To my uh, great surprise, this is um, fitted perfectly into the um, back of the H3 3D gimbal. Um, and I'll plug the GoPro in in a minute and just make sure it all kind of transfers through and works the same. Uh, but it's looking really good. Uh, I'll show you the results in a minute. We can see the finished result. There's the old gimbal on the ground. The new one uh, is attached to the H3 3D um, now and I can confirm that that powered up properly with the uh, Phantom and um, also, I've got FPV goggles here, you're probably not going to be able to see anything in this, but just to confirm that the FPV uh, does work perfectly, so that is a really successful transplant to, of an old part onto a new gimbal, and that's um, eliminated the need for these little suckers, um, so uh, I'm very happy with that, fantastic. Hope this helps you um, and or provides you with a little bit of extra information um, to enjoy your quadcopter. I'm very, very pleased with this. Thanks.